it won't let me change back to Chris. I think I haven't finished the chapter yet. I thought I'd finished the chapter so I could... But no, we're still peers. And interestingly, even though we've just come from a flashback, we now have a shotgun we didn't have before, and we've got exactly the amount of ammo that we left the flashback with. Don't ask me how that works. I am not 100% sure. I think it might be something to do with wizards. Uh, but we're going to roll with it. We're not going to be playing Angry Chris. We're going to be playing Ineffectual Peers. I'm not really sure. I'm I guess i go back over here, maybe. I'd put an emblem down there. I don't remember where the emblems were. It doesn't matter. It just unlocks figures. Uh, but we're going to go. I don't know where Chris is. Yeah, Chris has just run off. But okay, so we're back in China, I think it was. Maybe. Oh, it's this thing! Because we all know how much I love invisible enemies. Yeah. Alphana HQ, greifen einen Feind an. Pierce, Marco, alle zu mir. Wir verfolgen das Ding. Ihr habt's gehört, Leute. Los! Los! This section. Definitely a detour. Definitely a detour. Made a bit worse because we're playing as peers. Um, so we don't really have melee. We're going to be dealing with an invisible snake monster. Hmm. And look, our ammo literally carries over from the flashback. That is so bizarre. I didn't realise it did that. It's a bit disappointing, to be honest. Wow, left stick and X are sprint. That's weird. Oh, can't do it. go down there. There's a slight gap. Can't climb these. Okay, this is actually quite a tough section if I remember. If I re if this is what it is, the invisible snake monster. Uh, I keep talking about stuff before it's happened. Oh, but we do get to see this. Oh, come on, let me do it. Let me do it. We should be doing this a couple of times. <laughs> uh, no. I don't want to do it twice, though. We want to play <laughs> on the slide. Fuck yeah. Pierce goes down head first. Oh, I can't believe it. It won't let me change characters. I have to play through the whole chapter again is a bit... I thought this was a new chapter, but apparently not. So we're going to see this area um, I think three more times? No, two more times. I don't think it's in Jake and Sherry's campaign. And we'll play on the slide then as well. Uh, we've got no ammo. Roger. So at least we now know why Chris was Captain Dower. It's because he's uh, not very good at dealing with loss. Good for him. Emblem. Don't really have the ammo to be doing that. Unless there's a whole bunch of okay, wooden boxes. Okay, you Switch back to Chris. Okay. I think I showcased Piers. 
He's got a sniper rifle and he's not very good at melee. This game needs you to be good at melee. Look at that. I missed twice. Twice I missed. There's a BSAA guy just sort of chilling in the corner there. Didn't feel like helping out. It's cool, man. Uh, you don't have to help out. How f we've got the shotgun from the past? That's so weird. Like that's like been, it's been like two years or something, and yet we've got this shotgun. Oh. What's what's here? What's here? Nothing. Darkness. Oh, Mr. Java. Get out of the way. I was reading some of the files I'd unlocked about the Java. They're basically mindless. But they're not dudes. Which is interesting. Or I, I found it interesting anyway. They aren't people. Like once you get infected, you're you're not a man. Was once a man and all that. Keep finding boxes of three bullets. Chris do all the work here. Yeah. Some rifle rounds. Yeah, some of these mutations are really messed up. I think they're amazing the way that they change and different bits break and all of that. Other people, not so much. Not fans of it. Don't care what other people think. I love me some Resident Evil. Look at that. Oh, got me. Got me. He's got no, there's like, there's no, that's a bone, that's a bone. And then, did you see it, can you see it growing back? People really let rip on this game, for obvious reasons. A lot of this is not good. Like this is just, this is a corridor shooter. The, the enemy design is fucking outstanding on this. But I'm blowing bits of his body off and it's growing back. to these things. We're still playing as peers, so I guess we'll switch over the next opportunity. I thought we'd ended the chapter, apparently not. But we have got a shotgun from the future, which is cool. You gotta admit. Oh 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 you picked up a gun from the future. Any more for any more. 
That is a 2D dustpan brush thing. Okay. <sighs> Resident Evil. Never change. Oh. Attack its head first. Yes. If you are Chris, equip the knife and get a one-hit kill. If you are Piers, flail pathetically with the butt of your rifle. Yeah, this is it, the fucking invisible snake thing. Sie leben. Sie verschwanden vor sechs Monaten in Edonia. Now, there is an achievement for killing the pilot. Magnum. And obviously I've already got it because I've already got the, the platinum. But it is finicky as fuck. You have to um You have to be playing as I think it's it's Jake. Captain, here Marco, Sie haben mein bewaffneten Heli ins Spiel gebracht. Uh you have to wait for it to rope down some guys. And then you have to climb up rope that they that it drops down. Yeah. So I got a bit ahead of myself when I thought it was the invisible snake fight. Um, but this is still a pretty badass conflict we're coming into here. I don't think it lets us go down to the bottom of the floor. No, we just take cover. Out of the way Piers. Or just random BSAA guy. I don't actually know who that was. No, I'm Piers, so why would I I tell myself to get up? That was Chris then. Right. Let's go over here. So now you've got to keep them alive. There they are over there. Getting their asses kicked. <laughs> If we were playing online, we'd have gone to a uh, loading screen while it searched for people playing through the campaign on this side. Because we're not playing on professional or no hope difficulty, I have no reason to rush this. But you do need to help them out. Now, it's a hidden achievement. Sniper. Oh, mate, down in one. Down in one. Oh, they're turning to leapers now. If that thing jumps on you, you're dead. Yeah. I don't think they get arms, uh, if you know what I mean, like, like the other Java. <laughs> New Earth, please. It's grasshopper motherfuckers. Not nice. Oh shit, he's alive. I figured I'd use a quick shot there. Missed. Got him. Piers is so deadly to use, that's why I wanted to step back, because the best thing for Piers is to just stand at the back. Even this anti-material rifle does not work on their mutations. It's an annoyance. Just go to the 
town. He's going to town. Flash grenade, nice. Right. I obviously I'm completely in the wrong place. I thought we were somewhere where we were not. Targeting me or the guys at the top. I don't think even my anti material rifle can pierce that, to be honest. So I'm. Oh, we could uh, flash him. Yeah, it was, it was, I was right. No. Chris, instead of standing there with your assault rifle. Quick shot. How about you help? <coughs> right. That's the reason we're playing as peers, that's what I remember. Because these guys are really hard to see. It's Chris. I just turned to the the god. Jump up. And I missed. I don't miss to oh, I've run out of ammo. Good. Some skill points. If I hadn't have brought that thing, then um, we would be entirely reliant on random drops for ammo. Which is not good. Right, now as Jake, you can climb up and you can shoot this thing and um, fuck it up. However, as Pierce and Chris, I'm not sure what to do. There's a couple of BSAA guys there. Hide behind this pillar. Oh, there's, there's another guy there. But as Jake, you can climb up when it it, it lets people rope down. It's just come on. I've just got a shotgun. What is this nonsense? Uh. It's where you struggle because you do not have the ammo for this. And I've got more ammo than I normally would have because of pickups. But, oh, someone got a shot off. Okay. The heli zieht sich zurück. Das wäre zu einfach. Los weiter. Captain, wir sollten die beiden begleiten. Ohne Hilfe werden sie nicht überleben. Wir rücken ab. Los geht's. Wir sprengen die Tür auf. Achtung. Any ammo over there? No. <coughs> All right, let's blow the door. It's kind of nice to, to have the campaigns cross over, even if it does give you massive spoilers. Um, for instance, if you remember when Resident Evil 3 crossed over with Resident Evil 2 and Leon and Claire ran past, that was amazing. That blew my mind back in the day. 
still does really thinking about it. That was that was just so impressive. Need more of that in games. Yeah, we're loading up for a big old fight. Uh. It's not giving me any any rifle ammo. <laughs> Roger. Grenade launcher. And we need this because it should be shooting us now. Yeah. HQ, come, the Alpha. The Heli Everyone's favourite sequence. This is ridiculously hard. Um, it's hard to hit the chopper, it's hard to see the chopper. There's these assholes everywhere. It's hard to know where you're going. If you leave your allies, you get flanked. Thank you, Chris. Or they jump off the building onto you. But we've got to shoot the chopper down with the grenade launcher. <laughs> I, just, I have no words. Two grenade launchers. Oh. Uh, one for Chris and one for Piers. If you can remember where they are. I actually stumbled onto that entirely by luck there. I'm also doing pretty bad for health. I'm going to use an F8 spray. But you just there's there's no secret, there's no do this, do that, do the other. You just need to hammer it about eight thousand times. With grenades. Now I think there are actually incendiary grenades and acid grenades and shit in this uh, game. But at the same time I never saw them as a jab over there. Notice that I'm missing an awful lot. And it's fucked off again. Just dropping off more guys. I think that's how that works. Oh, Chris is actually hammering it this time. He's, he's supposed to have been shooting it this entire time, but uh, you know, 99 problems. It's done locked. Death. You can actually kill that a lot quicker if your partner has got a grenade launcher as well and uses it. Is 
he talking about complete global saturation? Cap, wir können sie doch nicht gehen lassen. Unsere Mission ist es, die POWs zu erledigen. Aber New Umbrella ist Extreme Prejudice. Nicht... Unsere Mission ist es, die POWs zu erledigen. Now, ostensibly, this is because Chrissy Deer recognizes Wesker Jr.'s face. I don't actually see, I can see kind of where they've done a, a shit character design, but Wesker Jr.'s face is, it doesn't really look like Wesker. I mean, Wesker's defining features were his shades and his hair, not the face. You only really saw his eyes when he got Ouroboros, or whatever else he injected himself with. Alpha Team on HQ. We're following the Okay, team. we're in pursuit of stuff. Do the thing. Go. I'm supposed to look at this. What is it? Scheiße! So will ich nicht sterben. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> He's been crushed, you can kind of tell. Uh, but it's it's kind of awkward. Uh, why will you not crouch? Don't worry, I've got a shotgun. We're back doing... Uh, Wall to wall clearance. Oh, look at that. See? I don't want the figures. Costumes would be nice. I don't think costumes actually works in game. I think you have to beat the game once. And because we're playing a fresh trial. Um, even though it was nice enough for us to, to allow us to play on different difficulties, it won't let us fuck about with costumes. But then the only reason Revelations 2 gave us as many costumes is because they came with the game. So I think for future Resident Evil Let's Plays, I might not do a fresh install like I've done here. And go in essentially blind. Did you see that? If you didn't see that, you are me. I can't tell the difference between the invisible snake and the not invisible snake. So we're going to suffer. <laughs> However, I'm pretty sure it shows up on that. I can't be 100% there. Okay. But I'm pretty sure it shows up on heat vision. Not that I can hit it. But I'm pretty sure it shows up in heat vision. Ah, lone operative going off on his own. There it is, invisible snake. Also berserk enough to point his gun at Piers. However, Piers is too much of a sissy girly man to uh, stand up to Chris. Yeah, you will shoot Briggs, Piers. I think the problem with Piers that a lot of people had with him is he's new to this game. He has essentially no backstory. Spoilers for what lie ahead. 
Um, he doesn't make it through this game. Sorry, guys. Spoiler. Um, and Chris has always traditionally had a female partner. And obviously with Chris's story being quite an intense revenge filled thing. You could be forgiven for thinking that because Piers basically has no character development other than tries to talk Chris down and fails. Are we going back? Am I going back? I think I am. Yeah. Yeah. Roger. Roger. Oh yeah, if you mash circle it does the traditional call out thing. 